Third graders, let's do a fox. So find the center of your paper, put your finger on it, and now I want you to start right here and do a big upside down triangle, curving the corners of the triangle. At the bottom of your triangle, you're going to do a big jump, almost like the top of a rainbow. And now we're gonna do two more jumps. So from the bottom, or from this little jump, or this little rainbow, we're gonna do another one a lot taller, and it's gonna to connect to the side of the triangle. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So the two sides look the same. That's called symmetry, when two sides are the same. Now I'm going to do a circle on one side and a circle on the other side and I'm going to do two triangles for his ears, not making them too pointy on the tips, but a little rounded. Okay, now we have the face of our fox. Now for his body, I am going to go right in between these two lines where we did the big hill. I'm gonna come right about here, and I'm gonna do a big letter U and connect it to the other side, right in the middle of this hill, right along the side of the triangle. Okay, now for his belly, we want to make it look like he's got a different color belly, which we'll talk about later. We're going to do another big hill, another big rainbow, and now we're going to work on his feet. So I'm going to do a number 11 on one side and a number 11 on the other side of his belly, and I'm going to do his feet and his feet here. And now I'm going to erase those two lines inside my number 11 to make sure that we are overlapping properly. Okay, now it's time for his tail. You can do his tail on either side, maybe choose the side where you have more space because he's got a nice fluffy big tail. So I'm gonna come right alongside the middle of this line and I'm gonna come into a curve straight up. Okay, and now I'm going to curve and connect it to the bottom of his body. And I wanna make it look like maybe he's got a little white tipped tail or a different colored tail. And now I'm gonna do a line in the back to show the horizon line where the ground meets the sky. But maybe I want the background to look like it's a bunch of trees and the fox just ran out from the forest to say hello. So these lines can all be straight or maybe you want one to look like there's a branch coming out. You could do that too. You could keep it simple, or you can make it a little bit more complicated. How about we keep the rest of these pretty simple? Don't worry about taking out a ruler. These do not have to be straight. Okay? And if you want, in every few lines, maybe you draw a couple of football shapes to make it look like they're leaves. And that's it. Good job.